Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the Pappen card to review. Uh, apparently this guy is a former uh, Ballon d'Or winner. Could be a former Ballon d'Or winner. I think he is. Um, guys, with this card, he's five foot nine, high medium work rates, right footed, three star skills, four star weak foot. Uh, so yet again, it is a card that I feel like EA should have given probably like a five star to because four star you could definitely work with 100%, but because he has the three star skill move, it would be really nice to compensate in other areas of the card, right? In-game player traits, the card is working with these solid player traits, outside foot shot traits, and power header traits, which obviously could be very helpful. Uh, with this card in-game, being a five foot nine player with an average body type, uh, we do want to improve the dribbling stats as much as possible, right? The engine chemistry style is going to turn him into an explosive player, which you guys know for me, I really enjoy using the controlled and explosive players more than lengthy because lengthy is for the rats I want to counter attack all the time. Uh, explosive on the engine chemistry style will make his pace, you know, be in a pretty decent area. Now, obviously, if you want to be able to utilize pace a little bit more, then you would give him probably like a hawk chemistry style or something, uh, because obviously with a hawk adding some aggression with the kind of runs he can make would definitely be great and stuff but like i said for the general experience of the card i feel like the engine is going to make the most sense for him right pace will be at an 88 to 89 for sprint speed shooting on the card is going to be in a very good area with a four star weak foe which is definitely very very nice uh passing on the card not the greatest but he is mainly going to be used as a striker anyways so obviously no big deal there dribbling we will be experimenting with because the five foot nine height average body type guys Average body type is more acceptable nowadays, but it's still noticeable, like previous years. You know what I'm saying? Like the average body type is always going to be the one that is not as nice to work with, but obviously uh, cards can compensate in other areas of it, right? Uh, he has a 91 heading accuracy, 88 jumping. So if you do get yourself into a situation where you can head the ball, it could definitely be very nice to work with. And then for physical capabilities, the card is working with an 83 for stamina, 78 for strength. So um, yeah, for us guys, We'll be using him mainly in the striker position. I'll be changing the instruction on him uh, depending on the situation of the game. So we'll have uh, some games where he's on stay central, and then we'll also have some games where he's on balance because obviously being able to work with attacking AI and all the other positions is uh, very, very helpful, right? So uh, normally it'd be on stay central. It's usually very helpful in this game, but I just want to see what he's like on the balance as well. So we'll be switching between the two. Uh, we'll see how he plays in game. Hopefully he's a beast. Wow. What a strike. <laughs> that was really clean. Well read to win possession back. Javier Mascherano. Shot up. Oh, I don't get that one though. I don't get that one. Oh, I should have gone closer. Good goal. Good job, boys. Good job. We need that movement. Imagine if I got the lob pass there. That would, I mean, the the chip shot there. That would have been dope. Textbook defending inside the box. We're inside the final ten minutes in this one. Can he put them in front? Let's go, Lindberg. Let's go. Great chip shot. That whole build-up play was fantastic. Oh, cool. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Can he put it away? Good job, boys. Let's go. Good job, good job. I'll take that finish. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go, boys. 
options are plenty. And the touch. Oh, close. Good goal, boys. Good goal. Beautiful goal. Beautiful, beautiful goal. Let's go, Pappen. Bro, he already tackled and he got the tackle again? Is that what I just saw? Nice, Papan. Nice. Starts off with a challenge, ends up scoring the goal for me. GG's. Wow, that actually helped me out a lot that was super super lucky because of the way that he kind of like bounced off of the uh the challenge there but we'll take it oh no man but i had the space there too nice gets the ball in the air it's good beauty you mistimed the uh, offside trap right there. We'll take that. Good job, boys. Let's go, Pappen. My boy's scoring goals for me, and he's, he's doing the thing, boys. Oh, I should have just shot it, but I don't know. I felt he was going to push his goalkeeper a little bit there. Well, while reviewing cards, 18 and 2. 18 and 2. One guy I lost to was an ISO play loser that did the same thing over and over again. That just went to penalty shootouts, beat me there. And then the second guy that beat me was beating me 2-0 off of two horrible goals in the beginning. I got pissed. He left the game. Mashed him again in the second game. Beat him 3-0 within 20 minutes. So, 20-0 in my books. Ah, oh, penalty though. It is a penalty. Nice. Well done. Beautiful. Kill getting involved in the attack there too, that's good. We'll take it. We'll take it. Effort. Around that physical a little bit. Okay, guys. So final verdict on this Pappen card. So guys, in regards to how he performs in game, we gave him the engine chemistry style, turning him into an explosive player with pace set up the way that it is, and obviously passing set up the way that it is. Now, what I will say about this card is that there are certain occurrences where you see a potential opportunity to be able to do like a law pass, like an L1, R1, or a through ball, where he is going to get outbodied, right? He doesn't have 
um, the lengthy on the card to be able to get past people like that. So that's not going to be his type of play style, right? The type of play style that you have to utilize with a card like this is the explosive part. So it's just pass and go movement as much as possible, utilizing empty space as quickly as possible to score your opportunities, right? When it came down to attacking AI of the card, I thought it was perfectly fine. I was switching between uh, stay central and balance on the card. I didn't really mind it whatsoever. Uh, there are strikers that I do prefer. They're attacking AI over this one a little bit, but it's not like I, you can't work with it because for a cheaper alternative, right? For League One strikers, that are French, it's a pretty cool card to work with, right? In the striker position, if you can't like afford uh, the top tier cards. Uh, pace obviously being lower, again, a noticeable thing. Passing not being in the greatest area is again, a noticeable thing too. Sometimes in the striker position, not all the time, right? You're not gonna really use a card like this in other attacking positions that isn't your main striker or one of two strikers, right? Uh, this card, when it came down to dribbling, I didn't mind using the dribbling whatsoever. However, with the average body type being as it is, uh, you still notice it in game from time to time, right? So you kind of have to time your L trigger shield dribble, your left stick a little bit to kind of work with it a tiny bit. There is actually one of the games where we were able to utilize his dribbling a little bit, get the roulette off, score with his left foot, and do a pretty decent job. Uh, I did notice that his finishing came off really nicely, right? Whether it was on his uh, right foot, whether it was on his weak foot, uh, the finishing was fine. I didn't mind it whatsoever. Uh, I will say that for the most part, I can definitely see where some people will feel this card is, could be a little bit generic at times. But honestly, we were using him in foot champs and he was scoring a lot of goals for me and he was getting involved in a, in a few opportunities uh, from time to time. So I genuinely didn't mind him, but I do get the feeling with the card when I'm using him in game that sometimes he has like this generic feel, right? Sometimes he does. But like I said, the attacking AI was fine. Shooting came off okay. You know, the four star weak foot was perfectly fine to work with. Although I will say that EA should probably give these guys a five star weak foot. Um, you know, when it came down to physical stuff, you notice that being low as well. So with explosive players, you have to utilize attacking AI and quickness as much as possible. For you to be able to score your opportunities okay because the average body type will be noticeable from certain touches and stuff um and then obviously uh the pace being lower it doesn't always help in certain situations either but the price range of the card for people that want to build that type of team and give you certain links i don't mind it whatsoever i think the price range is not too expensive they didn't make him like 300 400k that would have been ridiculous i think 110k is okay for uh what he offers in game if you're trying to get those types of links in your squad, right? Can there be better striker options? Absolutely. Uh, but like I said, he still did work for me in foot champs and he was still a very enjoyable card to use. You'll hear me say this a lot for uh, a few cards in this year's game because the accelerates option has made a lot of cards very usable, even if their cards look generic in general, right? So it's definitely a huge plus. Um, this is a league one player. So uh, obviously, if we're going to be doing comparisons between the League One players in general, we're going to do this. We're going to go to the striker position. So he's definitely not better than Mbappe. That's a that's a given, right? We don't have to say that. Uh, definitely not better than Ginola, for sure. Um, yeah, definitely not better than that. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Govu. Uh, Govu was actually a pretty decent card. Whenever I get my hands on his... Uh, his new card, which I don't think is available yet. I could be wrong. Maybe it's extinct and I just can't get it. So I don't, I'm not sure. Or maybe it's in the second team. I don't know, actually. Um, let's see. So uh, Ben Yedder. I like Ben Yedder a lot this year. Okay. And Ben Yedder is a four-star, five-star player. And I do think that that's really good. Like, honestly, if I were to be sincere, I would say, like, Ben Yedder, I would still use him in general. If Especially if I need, like, those League One French links. Um... Because that five-star weak foot, it's a really big deal this year. Like, you notice it quite a bit. Um, Ross Barkley, I, I thought he was generic. I told you guys in the SBC review, I didn't, he wasn't too special for me. And then there's pretty much, that's pretty much it, right? So there's Triore as well. But Triore is a different type of car because he's huge, right? Huge as the uh, four-star weak foot. But he felt like more of a card that people use for a little bit, but not like for the long while, you know? But yeah, like I said... Happen was still decent for me. Uh, like he still has that feel of being generic from time to time, but it was okay. I would still rather use Ben Yedder, uh, generally speaking, but it's still a pretty decent card. Guys, thanks for watching the video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.